you are witnesses to the truth, the sole spiritual head of brotherhood of the cross and star. Leader O Obiu has described this generation as a lucky one since the people have been opportune to witness the wonderful works of the Holy Spirit now manifest. Briefing members of the organization in an early morning service recently, the leader said that there is nobody in this generation who can say that he or she saw the miracles which Jesus the Christ performed nor how John the Baptist ate only locust beans and wild honey and survived. But, in this generation, you are all witnesses to how the Holy Spirit has come down to dwell with you, eat with you, heal you, though you still do not seem to recognize him, the father said. The Holy Spirit, the leader went on to say, has done great works in the sky, in the depth of the sea, and in the earth beneath, yet the worldly people do not recognize him so as to give him due honor, adding that instead of glorifying the Holy Spirit for what he has done in this era, people are still complaining of their being in abject poverty, seeing apparition, witches and mermaids. The leader expressed surprise on how the worldly people have refused to acknowledge a person who has come in their form to salvage them and urged all to know that Moses had the specific assignment of leading the children of Israel out of bondage in Egypt to Canaan, the promised land. Consequently, Abraham saw the angels in his own little area and was only noticed there. Other prophets also performed in a miniature scale, and their works had little or no impact on the entire world, the leader opined saying that in this generation, the reverse is the case, as the whole world now has the opportunity of witnessing the great works of the Comforter now manifest. Our Lord Jesus Christ spent only three and a half years during his assignment on earth. And his assignment was known principally in Nazareth, but now, the Indians, Cameroonians, Britons, the Americans etc., have all seen the wonderful works of the Holy Spirit, the leader said, wondering why people are so ungrateful and unwilling to testify about the miracles in their homes, offices, and in marketplaces. He also used the occasion of the briefing to intimate members that God who rules in brotherhood has come with supreme powers to rule the whole world, assuring that, the vision which says that very soon all the orthodox churches will surrender to one shepherd under one fold will materialize. The Holy Father leader Oobu has confirmed to the consternation of many that the much talked about Holy Spirit is a man. Teaching his children during one of the altar briefs, the father asked those who say that they cannot worship man to do a rethink as they have no option if they believe in God Almighty. His words, you who say that you will never worship man, what will you do? It is for this reason you are told in John chapter 4 verse 24 that those who worship God must do so in spirit and in truth. He continued, the Holy Spirit is the one doing everything and yet the Holy Spirit is a man. Referring to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 4 to 12 the Father urged all and sundry to note that the oneness of all creations is not negotiable and counseled that man should break the barriers that keep them distinctly apart. The Father exhorted that if man was to know the spiritual importance of all the creations of God being one, the world would have moved a step forward insisting that even the church founders have erred in their fraternizing with the mundane and not craving to ensure oneness of all creations. He stated that it is the Holy Spirit that is existing on earth as man now that's responsible for all the peace initiatives and committees and the adoption of dialogue as means of resolving conflicts is the work of the Holy Spirit. He cited the examples of peace in South Africa as part of the achievement of the Holy Spirit while calling on man to take the directives of the Holy Spirit seriously. Thank you Father. The day of Passover today is that day our Lord Jesus Christ offered that statement this same day. This was to make you know that this Passover was not prepared in any church or prayer houses nor in the bush, but he simply told the disciples to go to the city and to a certain man's house. Bread was not taken with them. Where do you think the bread for the feast of Passover will come from? Again he said, He who eats with me in the same dish, and I ask, Do you eat bread in the dish with people? While we are here the Passover is being prepared and you have partaken of the Passover with him. He said, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 19.
This feast is not celebrated because we have money, or because we are worthy, it is not performed for our well-being, but it is done for a remembrance and also for people who were not there that day to know what happened. It is said that when one sees the corpse, definitely tears must come out of the eyes. You can now see that he was not crucified on Friday but Thursday to avoid a tumult. You will also note that this Passover was not prepared on that Wednesday but in advance, and this further confirms his words to be the veritable truth. This afternoon of the Passover started and according to the Jewish way of counting time, Thursday started a minute after 6 p.m. of Wednesday evening and that was the start of his trial. If you partake of this feast at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m., it is not the Passover poured to him. If a man dies on Monday and when you want to remember him, you do it on Tuesday, you are wrong. That is why we do exactly what happened on that day at the appropriate time whether humanity believes or not. This shows you that Christ is the same today, tomorrow and forever. The disciples asked our Lord Jesus Christ where the Passover would be prepared and the same question has come up today. Do not term this question as asked by the Jews and Greeks but regard it as asked by you now. This question also goes to all Christendom, where are you going to prepare the Passover? The Son of Man is going into his glory and are we not to prepare the Passover? It is not calling Jesus Jesus, Lord of Lords and King of Kings but go into the world and ask of where the Passover will be prepared. The direct answer is that you should go into the city and enter into a certain man's house and make him know that the teacher wants a place prepared for the Passover. The truth has come to stay that is why Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is called Christ Universal Spiritual School of Practical Christianity. Nothing is added or subtracted and there is no studying but a practical demonstration of the truth of things. As God has rightly said, any person who adds any word to his word of prophesy will have all the afflictions in the Bible and will have his name removed from the book of life. Here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star nobody adds or subtract and this is why our Lord Jesus Christ said that the Comforter will reveal to you all the truth. It is wrong to say that leader Olamba Olamba Obu said this or that but say that our Lord Jesus Christ said it. That is why when people read through our publications, they would tell you that the leader has confirmed that he is not Christ and now what are you talking about? It is Christ that had said, continues to say, and will say everything forever. The Passover will be prepared and eaten tonight and as soon as you eat it, you have taken on yourself the sins of the world, and you will surrender your lives as ransom for the salvation of the world, as our Lord Jesus did. That is why on Wednesday we have the Bible class, watch and pray till 3 a.m., 6 a.m. on Thursday start the fasting depicting the time he was sentenced to death and 9 a.m. when he was nailed to the cross. We have no other work to do but to unveil the events of that day to those who were not there. You may have been there when this event happened and that is why it is always said that we of the olden times have come back again. If you were not there then, how do you come by these names, pastor, prophet, apostle and evangelist? Many of you do not know why you are placed in these positions. It is exactly what happened in the past that is re-established and a fulfillment of the proclamation of our Lord Jesus Christ when he said that, The Comforter shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. And God had said some in the church, first apostles, second prophets, thirdly teachers, after these miracles, then gifts of healing, helpers of governments, diversities of tongues, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 28, and this is what you are seeing today done in brotherhood of the cross and star, falling in line with what our Lord Jesus Christ had said when he said that the Comforter will open to you all the truth. All that you have seen is the revelation of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, not the glory of anybody. You should not look for your personal glories but that of Christ. What is done here in brotherhood of the cross and star is what had been done, it is what we have to do and will be done forever. It is sorrowful that many members of the brotherhood do not partake of the watch and pray and the feast we conduct daily but they rather say that God dwells in their hearts. Have you not heard what he has said? He said whoever does drink of my blood and eats of my flesh will have eternal life. Again Jesus said to his disciples, if you watch with me for an hour, and if you watch and pray you will not enter into temptation. 
Watch out and pray so that you will not enter into temptation. Did the disciples not enter into temptation? Yes, they did because they did not watch and pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ was arrested at 3 a.m. on Thursday. This is the reason we observe a vigil night every Wednesday to watch and pray at 3 a.m. on the following day. From 3 a.m. until 6 a.m. Our Lord Jesus Christ was tortured. This is exactly how we conduct our system so that nothing is added nor subtracted. At 9 a.m. He was nailed on the cross and at 3 p.m. He shouted and gave up his ghost and finally at 6 p.m. His body was removed by Joseph of Arimathea. If you take stock of what happened to him on the cross you will realize that our Lord Jesus Christ deserves to be worshipped, honored and respected and we should worship him with reverence by refraining from sins. Here in the brotherhood of the cross and star people say that we are worshipping man. We worship God, we honor God. If you say you are a brotherhood in this night you are not here, what brotherhood are you? If you say that you were here for the Pentecostal assembly and today you are not partaking in the great feast, which type of Pentecostal were you coming to attend? Can you now see people claiming to be in brotherhood for 20 years without deriving any benefit? If you preach and teach others to practice same, then you are the highest. Some battles do not keep watch and pray at all, while in others they do it and stop at 1 a.m. Is that watch and pray? Some battles do it without feast. Is that what I teach you? Is that watch and pray? Even here before me some pastors, apostles etc. do not come to watch and pray. Is that the way you can reward Christ? This manner will continue forever. Dear brethren, I do not want to be tedious unto you, those who have ears led them here. May God add blessings to his holy words, Amen.